when I um, ask people where I should live in Pittsburgh, a lot of people say, have you looked in Squirrel Hill? And uh, I'm wondering, do they know I'm Jewish? <laughs> All kidding aside, Squirrel Hill is a, a place that I've spent a lot of time in my 10 days here in Pittsburgh. And I would, you know, I would like to live around here in Squirrel Hill, near Squirrel Hill. It just seems to be so centrally located, nice neighborhoods, good places to eat, shop, all that. And uh, then I look at the Redfin and Zillow and I see that the prices are, well, they're out of my, they're out of my range. And what I've been looking at so far uh, has been, you know, pretty much in the range of uh, 180 to 225, something like that. I found uh, this apartment complex, small apartment complex in South Squirrel Hill. I'm gonna look at it today and it's a two bedroom, about 1200 square feet, uh, listed at 250,000. So I'm, I'm really curious and hopeful. All right, let's go check it out. All right. I'm just gonna take a quick walk with the video and then we can um, look at things more. That's what sounds good. Yeah, when we leave out of here, we'll see if we can, it, it has to, it doesn't say wash and dryer in, on the listing. So when we leave out of the unit, let's walk. On uh, each floor, it looks like there's just one machine in each washer dryer. And I'm not going to count, but it's about 10 units on this floor. Thoughts. Location, location, location. Squirrel Hill is, uh, it's a great neighborhood. Looks like a very safe neighborhood. It's a neighborhood with uh, a lot of restaurants, a lot of Asian restaurants, Chinese restaurants, coffee houses. And so it would be um, very comfortable and convenient. Right now I'm in Shenley Park, which is a five minute drive from where the condo was. And, uh, yeah, location, location, location. Let me talk about potential downsides. So the condo, as you saw, it's, um, you know, it's nice. Looks like the uh, owner occupant uh, has taken care of it. And um, yeah, I like it. However, they need to do some work renovating, rebuilding, strengthening the balconies in the exterior wall. That has been identified and apparently it's been um, socked into the price. There are no other units in the building that are for sale, which is actually a good thing. I mean, they're not all fleeing. I remember in Portland, we saw a couple buildings uh, that has assessments coming up where it seemed like there were five, six, seven people trying to sell, trying to get out of there. But according to the, um, the way it's structured, not the building, but the contract, 
uh, there would be no cost to me after um, purchasing the place other than the $456 a month HOA. And this is all very serious, very um, worthy of due diligence. Um, my, my real estate guy, um, I told him my concerns. He is going to check on everything and then uh, we'll think about making a decision. One more thing about the apartment before I go on to the bigger picture. There is no washer dryer inside the unit. On each floor of that building, there is a pay washer dryer. So uh, on the floor where um, this unit is, there appear to be about 10 uh, condos, 10 apartments, and one washer, one dryer. In the bigger picture, the broader scope, uh, I really like the idea of being, um, you know, close to Pitt and uh, downtown Oakland and, you know, in the heart of, of Pittsburgh. No freeways, no long commute, everything is within arm's length, including, of course, this Shenley Park and uh, nearby Frick Park. And I like the idea of condo living, ideally, uh, in that, you know, I want as, uh, as simple a living situation as possible. I don't know, I don't know much about keeping up houses. However, on the third hand, a house uh, offers so much more in, in room, in privacy, in probably a resale value, uh, and on and on and on and on. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking about right now as I um, head from Shenley Park down to Pitt for another day of training before the semester begins next week. I've obviously got some thinking to do, but yeah, I, I don't know. At some point, I am just going to have to say, okay, there's pros and cons. There's more pros in this place. So let's do it. Let's pull the trigger. But as they say, that day is not today. Off to school. Just got off the phone with my real estate guy and got the answers to uh, two important questions. First, about the balcony uh, renovation and uh, all that blah, blah, blah about the price was packed into uh, the listing price. That may not be true. This might be really good news. Uh, well, according to the agent to agent uh, communication, there was an on-site uh, handyman and super type of guy, and um, they had uh, decided not to have one, and then they sold his unit, and it's that money that is going towards this improvement or repair. So I guess bottom line, um, the condo might well be going for 250 as fair market price. I had also asked about, can I rent out my unit? Can I sublet it at any time? And that's the bad news. No, not in this building. So that's something to, to really consider. If Summer and I spend a year in China at some point, leave a vacant, Apartment. I wonder, how strict are they? Can I have my cousin stay? But uh, not having uh, rentals in uh, a building, it's not just a negative. It's, it could be a really positive for the obvious reasons of, you know, you don't have Airbnb people coming in and out of there. You don't have uh, transients, well, transients in the good sense, who um, don't have a stake in ownership in the condo, so they may not treat it as well. Um, yeah, so it's it's not just a bad thing. Just got out of work, 
and uh, did a little more due diligence on the apartment and I found that at least six units have been sold since 2021. That is not good. Yeah, all that movement, it really bothers me. I, no matter what I buy, is gonna have problems, right? But I don't need to go into something uh, knowing that it's gonna be a problem. And there's a major renovation or a renovation coming on the balcony. Why would I wanna walk into that? So keep looking, right? By the way, for those who uh, watch my videos regularly, you may have recognized the neighborhood. I am back in the four mile run where I explored last week. I am meeting up with a, a friend of a friend. My friend in California hooked us up. And so that's kind of exciting. I mean, that's, that's an important part of this move to Pittsburgh, getting to know people, meeting new friends. And so for now, I am going to end this video. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. If you liked this video, please press the like button. Drop a comment below. Thoughts on the Squirrel Hill property, advice for further searches, difference between buying a house and a condo. Yeah, anything, I'd appreciate it. And uh, finally, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, subscribe. All right, catch you later. Bye.